welcome back to the channel and the podcast pick up stitches my name is leoni i'm coming to you from south africa and today is a wednesday the 28th of december uh yeah few things happening in today's episode um i'm going to share with you two whips uh-uh two finished objects three whips works in progress um one big yarny acquisition um lots of plans for 2023 as well as a love life update love <laughs> life update and then before we get into that i just want to say welcome everyone for new and existing viewers i really appreciate all your support all the likes all the comments and the subscriptions i really really appreciate it um yeah yeah so one very big announcement that i need to do before we get going um, regarding admin is that we will be rebranding a little bit um, the channel it will no longer be independence crochet but i'm gonna rename it to independence yarn crafts reason for that is when i started this um, channel i was just crochet crazy and um i have since like you know i've started <laughs> um knitting a lot in fact i'm knitting more than crocheting these days and yeah i believe the channel must grow with me so i've got a lot of future plans for things like prop spindle um maybe even spinning on a spinning wheel if i can find one that's affordable i want to do natural dyeing which we will talk about a little bit later so yeah um even weaving maybe so i don't want to be restricted to the name independence crochet i also do not want it to be like a false indication of what people will see and get when they come to the channel so yeah that's that's about it and that's the reason why um with regards to the word independence why it's still independence yarn crafts um the reason i i went with independence in the first place was when 2022 hit um like a lot of people i was in a flat spin i was all stressed out um it was the lockdown happened I work in the mineral processing industry, all the mines were shut down, plants were shut down. Um, we stayed at home, we took pay cuts, it was stressful. And even before that, I was thinking I would like to do something different, have a backup plan. So when that hit, I was like, no, you can no longer be reliant only on your 9 to 5 job, things can change like this so you need a backup plan and my backup plan was developing my skills um, learning new crafts um, teaching other people on the way as well um, not teaching just you know sharing what i'm learning um, and my journey so yeah there will be some little bit of knitting tutorials maybe um i will share with you when i start doing natural yarn dyeing that information so yeah basically just i want to teach myself new skills to be able to to enable myself to do more than just the normal nine to five job hence the, in the word independence and the channel is going to be more than just crochet and that's why we're rebranding so that's out of the way let's get into fo's whoops life acquisitions and plans for for a finished object we've got my november 2022 socks which to be honest i only finished in the first week of december somewhere and these are socks that i knitted for peter my husband and they were made with this radio yarn 
which he picked out himself from Arthur Bowles a few months ago. And it's a 75% virgin wool, 25% poly polyamide blend. And the pattern that I used was my friend Mariette from the Boerfrouw's pattern, the DB toe-up socks in a size large. And yeah, happiness. I am using sock blockers from Naughty Habit, the Kaiser sock blockers in a size large. And for this, I also used my 9 inch circular 2.5 millimeter needles from Chagu. So, yeah, that's about all that I have to say for this. I've got this much yarn left, just enough to add to my Cozy Sock Memories blanket. And, yeah. I think that's all I have to say about these. I think I can now start wearing them. I did something big. I'm very excited to share this with you. I knitted a pair of socks, which is my December socks, which I finished. And I decided to write the pattern up. And it's going to go on to Ravelry as a pattern. So I am officially, what do we call that? A <laughs> knitwear designer. I don't think this is anything rocket science, but anyway, let's get into the details. Yes, the socks. These are my December 2022 socks. I didn't put them on sock blockers now. And I don't know where's my sock blocker. But anyway, so... Yeah, what did I do with these socks? I did them with a skein of yarn that I actually got as a present from Adele from Yarn Creations. It's opal yarns. Uh, let's do this. There we go. Opal yarns. And it's a 75% virgin wool and 25% polyamide blend. And I did it 9 inch cuff down. So the pattern is also written cuff down. And I did a 2x2 two two ribbing for the cuff. Then I switched over to 3x3 three three ribbing. Did a German short row heel. And then only the top part of the sock has got the 3x2 three two ribbing. And then the bottom part of the foot. Sorry, so the top part of the foot has got the 3x1 ribbing and the top part is just, ah, bottom part is just plain stockinette. And it's a tail. So there's no contrast or anything happening in here. Just a plain old sock with lots of ribbing. Um, yeah, so the pattern should be available on Ravelry at the beginning of January. If not, already on the 31st of December. I'm going to start working on getting it uploaded onto Ravelry as soon as I'm done recording all of the finish. So, yeah, this is how much I still have left. I had to split it because I did it um, not in tandem. So I had to cut this much off in order for me to have twinsies. So yeah, and I still have quite a bit left, I'm very happy, so these can go into my scrappy projects. Yeah, um, it's my first pattern, I'm excited, I don't know, I've actually got plans for more sock patterns, but we'll discuss that shortly. <music> Parade. First whip is my MCAL twist and turns shawl pattern from Stephen West. And it's been a month since we chatted. Not a lot has happened. Um, life has been very busy. But since the last time we chatted, chatted, we had a chat, I was at the bottom of this long strip section. 
and this is still the first strip section which I managed to finish so I now need to get going on the other side that strip but luckily now I do have like I know what to do now so it's just going to be checking um, the beginning of this section this is section going to be section seven that I need to start now. So yeah, I I know the techniques, I know the the sequence. So it's just starting, and then this part should go a lot faster than the first one, section six. So yeah, this is the Stephen West MCL twists and turns for twenty twenty two. Hopefully, I'll be done with this one before the next MCL. Anyway, let me be positive. So yeah, um, the stitch marker, progress keeper that I'm using is one that Amanda from Volen Plus organized for us. Oh, you can't see. Why not? This thing is blurring. Why does it not want to stop blurring? Anyway. It says volume plus and at the back it says MCAL 2022. <laughs> Sorry, it keeps on blurring. Um, yeah, the yarn that I'm using for this is first up my project pack. Project pack is the Naughty Habit October Shock Club box pack. I've got a pin on there also from Naughty Habit. Nuts about my Naughty Habit. On, yeah. And the yarn I'm using is from Naughty Habit. Kaiso sock base because I'm a big, big fan of Kaiso. And this was a custom dye that Minty did for me for, to do MCAL with. So. Just to show, like this, there you go. Love it. Oh, and the uh, cozies I'm using is a pattern by my friend Mariette from the Boerfrau. A yarn cake cozy pattern. Um, go check it out. It's got cozies designed for 100 grams as well as 50 grams. And just to also show, once my shawl is done, this was also part of something that... Um, Amanda from Vol Vol and Flash organized for us. There's this nice tag that says MCAL 2022, which I will put onto my show once it's done. All right, that's whip number one. Whip number two. Let's start with this one. Again, I want to make more or write up more sock patterns. And this is, so I went crazy now. I mean, I did my 12 socks that I wanted to do for 2022 and check. I'm not having a goal of one pair of socks a month for 2023 again. But I went a little bit sock crazy and I've made another pair of socks. So there you can see there's some heart on here. Love it. And... I've also written this one up, it's done, but I will only release this at the end of January going February. Um, I might even see if I'm going to ask people for some tests. So let me know if you're interested to test some of these patterns for me. I would appreciate it. Um, yeah, so this is also done cuff down, except this is not a 2x2 two two rib, it's a 1x1 one one rib. And I did a heel flap, heel turn and gusset arrangement and a contrasting toe where we transition onto the hearts, the color work. Here we go. So the yarn that I used for this was a sock set by Mincy from Naughty Habit. Also Kaiso. So that Kaiso is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, which works perfectly for me. And these are socks that I knitted for Peter. 
and they are staying in my Estheriza Yarn Creations sock project bag and there's a whole bunch of pins on there that is part of the Naughty Sock Club box for 2022. Um, we've got the Chili Masala, Cranberry, Potpourri and Cranberry and there is the Vanilla and Cinnamon and then the other one um, oh, yes, this pen is on my other project bag. That is lavender and sage. So there's some more pins on here. I got a lot of pins. Um, there's a stoop mark one, etc. Anyway, so they are staying in my Esteriza bag, Esteriza Young Creations bag. And then the next whip is also a pair of socks that are staying in the bag that my friend Mariette made for me. So that I can walk and knit to my heart's content and it's also a pattern that I'm gonna write up I'm going to call this the Pisces sock but anyway this is done with Esteriza Yarn Creations clear base let's confirm hold on a sec yes it is the Cleo sock set which is also 75% superwash merino, 25% oops, 25% nylon. Unfortunately, this was a sock set that I bought. There was no names for the colorways or anything. Um, but yeah, it's a nice blue color some speckles and also cuff down and with some cabled ribbing along the circumference of the sock it's again heel flap heel turn gusset arrangement i am just about to start the toe so the toe is also going to be a contrast gray color let me show you the goodness why is it a mess in here? No surprises, but there's a mess. Okay, there we go. It's not a big contrast, but it's okay. I like it this way. Um, let me just sort this out. So the plan for the Pisces socks um, is for it to be released in March. And... I mean, it's straightforward. Anybody that knows star signs might probably guess that it is Pisces for the majority of March birthday people. Um, so, not sure if my sister actually <laughs> watches my podcast, but both her and my brother's birthday is in March. So, the plan is to have this pair of socks for her and then I'm going to make the April socks for my brother so yeah hopefully I'll be done so that I can send it off to them before their birthdays I think it should be I'm on a sock knitting frenzy for some reason I love it and I'm writing it up and the patterns will be available on Ravelry I'm excited I can, cannot believe that actually I have got enough confidence to write the craziness in my head up into a pattern and put it out there in the world. So I hope you guys are going to like them. Um, yeah. I'm not making a lot of tutorials. I'm, I'm filming some of the steps for netting socks, but not too much um i'm of the opinion that youtube is full of tutorials there's enough people that's doing that um i mean that's how i learned by netting other people's patterns and by following youtube tutorials so i'm not gonna make too much tutorials i might make some but not too much i'm still thinking about it um there's some other tutorials i would rather make than normal cuff and toes and kitchener and things like that i believe there's a lot of tutorials already on youtube 
I've got some other ideas I want to do in 2023. But yeah, we'll get to that part of the section <laughs> shortly. This is me checking in with life. And I have to start with something or someone because it is starting to fall asleep here. Yeah? We have a new addition to the family. His name is Zoro. And he's a baby dog. <laughs> he's very cute and feisty and very alive. It's like <laughs> it's like having a baby in the house again. Because we're getting up three times a night, taking him out to do his business and to, um, yeah, every time he wakes up, he wants to play a little bit. So it's exciting, <laughs> um, which makes me very glad I am taking two weeks leave. I've been on leave since the 16th of December. And... To be honest, I didn't get too much rest thus far. Just check something. I didn't get too much rest thus far because we've been working in the house like mad. Um, I'm sorting out my pantry slash scullery. Peter has been building me a big rack. Um, shelf that's what i'm looking for a shelving unit um heavy duty because we've got a lot of canned goods and so on um so yeah that's going to be nice to have them out and on display and we can see what we've got so i've been painting so i look a little bit of a mess this afternoon as well we are done assembling the frame so tonight i'm going to be painting the shelves i'm done painting the wall where the shelf is going to be um i didn't realize how dirty my house have become the last couple of months so i have been deep deep cleaning um the last week yeah, the last week so yeah um something else in life is that i've passed all my subjects yay that's great news um so which means i'm left with my research project for next year as well as two elective modules that i still need to do um yeah so something else that happened since the last time we chatted was we had severe rains in our area and i'll insert some footage but we couldn't get out of the farm for four days beginning of december it was crazy it was a lot of rain it was stuck it's fine we survived everybody's okay yeah just some road maintenance that now needs to happen which we have started with a little bit so yeah we will get there everything will be okay um I have another week's leave hopefully i'll get some rest this week that's coming before it's back to work and back to craziness and back to life in terms of acquisitions i bought something not in december also not in november already bought it in october um yeah so there's I've had this plan brewing in my mind for quite some time that I want to be able to do anything whenever I want and not have to say I don't have enough of this color I don't have enough of this type of yarn I don't have enough of this oh there's going to be lines I need to alternate I need to knit a sweater so four hands of yarn is just not enough 
I need to cut into five. And then I have three quarters of a hand left. So yes, we love scrapbook projects. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I just felt like things can be done a little bit more efficiently, effectively, um, and to be honest, cheaper. So I started investigating a few months ago um, into buying bulk yarn on cones instead of hank for hank for hank. So I also wanted to investigate dyeing my own yarn. And I did a thing and it came in October. And I bought 30, is it 30 or 20 kilograms of sock yarn. So this is bought from Stock and Yarns. And it's a 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon free ply yarn. Yep, it's free plies. And I bought the set, Stock and Yarn, that I mentioned. I cannot remember. So it's undyed natural yarn ish on cones. I'm going to put a video that I took of these cones all together. It's a lot. So I love sock yarn. I don't know why. It's just perfect for me. Um, it's durable because of the nylon that's in there. It's fingering weight. You can pair it. You can hold it double. You can add it to mohair, um, etc. etc. Or you can just knit with it as is and make things up as you go. So, yeah. And I want to do natural dyeing. I want to experiment. I want to do more. I want to learn more. Yeah. So, my husband helped me. We bought a lot of yarn. <laughs> this is going to last me my lifetime, probably. And, yeah, probably not my lifetime. <laughs> but, close enough. It's going to last me a while. Um, I'm very happy with this. If you compare prices, it's definitely a lot cheaper. But it was a big once-off spend. Um, yeah, big once off expenditure. So that's that for acquisitions. I cannot sit properly in my chair because there is a baby sleeping behind me. Okay. 2023 and the plans for 2023. I mentioned the socks. <clears throat> I've got a challenge for myself to have at least one, one, two, three, four, five, five sock patterns written up, ready to go before I go to work. So that is. We're almost there. I'm going back to work in like five days. <clears throat> if I really focus, it can be done. I mean, I need one sock to write up a pattern and to test and confirm that everything works. So, yeah. Then they will be released on a monthly. So I did a little on a monthly basis. So I did a little bit of bulk work during my leave this year. Just to get myself a little bit of a head start before studies and craziness starts again at work. And I might not get around to everything again. And yeah. Um, then the other big thing that we need to talk about is for 2023, we found out that Peter's eldest daughter is expecting. We are very excited. So she is due in October. Unfortunately, we cannot go in October because I will be busy with exams. Oh, not exams, I'm lying. I won't be busy with exams. 
it's the final stretch of doing your research project and then you need to go and present um, they call it a symposium so yeah um, that's happening somewhere in October so it's going to be the last stretch things are going to be crazy then we're thinking okay let's go then November but we're also thinking the other kids are going to be in school um, Peter's daughter and her husband will be working etc so the idea is next year December probably nothing is finalized yet we will go and visit the Netherlands because that's where they are staying which means I need to focus on saving some money the financing part of that I love baby I love baby and he's biting me forever I need to start looking at that so I bought the yarn the bulk acquisition obviously before we knew <laughs> that we will definitely want to go to the Netherlands um, otherwise I might not have done it I might have said no 2023 is going to be the year of stash busting but I've got the yarn I bought the yarn it's over it's done with so I will probably not be acquiring too much new yarn this year for this reason um, yeah that's it then that's happening in around December next year we're very excited so I'll keep you updated on the plans and the thingies and then with regards to projects for 2023 I made a small plan it's very rough very rough but there we go um in january and february we're busting some whips i need to get my whips done then in march i want to do a blanket tutorial etc which i might start now already then in april i want to make myself a stria cardigan in may i'm doing muscle burrs like crazy i've got plans I want to take some work when we go to the Netherlands, etc. So I'm doing muscle butter hats. June, July, I want to do another sweater. Um, August, September is going to be summer tops. October is MCO. November is going to be another ranunculus. And in December, I want to do another summer top. So I've got quite a few plans. Um, I don't... I didn't... Um, restrict myself too much that's why i just said summer tops and sweaters but i definitely want to do a stryer cardigan i've been looking at it it's beautiful that's going to be one of my biggest projects for 2023 as well as lots of muscle butters so i believe that the muscle butter is going to replace my socks um, that i was doing a lot of in 2022 the 2023 is going to be the year of sock patterns and muscle butter hats. Uh, yeah, that's it. So we have reached the end of today's episode and this one is getting very restless. Um, he's my baby. He's really is my baby and he's like a baby. He wants to be cuddled and play and everything. So yeah. <laughs> um... I want to say thank you for watching and again thank you very much for all your support um, in 2022 I, um, I am really surprised about how the channel grew I never thought I'd get more than 20 subscribers so <laughs> here we are and then I want to wish you all a happy new year and I hope that 2023 will be everybody's year of success and love and joy and happiness and all those wonderful things. So, yeah. From me and Zoro, we're out. We're saying goodbye. <laughs> and we'll see you next year. <coughs>